Hi, welcome to the Catholic Corner. I'm on Senior Walter Nolan. Many of us have had brothers and sisters, and we can remember the experiences of sibling rivalry. This comes almost naturally to children, doesn't it? Especially those who want to get some attention from moms or dads, or they don't particularly feel like sharing a friend or a television or whatever it happens to be. My guests today, I think, break that stereotype, which is a nice thing. In fact, if you knew them personally, you'd say that they're best of friends. Justin Zimmerman is 17, and his sister Alina is 15. Kind of getting up to each other, huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're parishioners at St. Veronica's Church in Howell, where they are also members of the youth group. And Justin and Alina also sit on the Diocesan Council for Youth, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Welcome. Justin Alina, God, it's so nice to have you here. You know? Thank you. Thank you. And it's all true, right? You guys are like best of friends. Uh, yep. Mom and Dad says, "Whoa, boy, this is great." You know, we, <laughs> we, uh, so tell me, uh, your brother and sister, yeah, and you, uh, uh, you share some musical talent together with each other. Um, what name do you go by? Uh, we're just keeping it, keeping it simple, and it's going by Justin and Alina. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Nothing fancy. Uh, well, that's fancy enough, I think, for moms <laughs> and dads. You know, yeah. how. Uh, Tell me a little bit about how old you both were when you started singing and performing, and, and uh, tell me a little bit about all of that, okay? Well, we were about nine years old. Justin started first, and then I kind of followed in his footsteps, and he started a little band with his friends, and then I wanted to join, so we started something together. And you just kind of went right in. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> terrific, terrific. You know, that's the way brothers and sisters should be, I think, to share the, the loves and talents and friendships of each other, and that's, that's a gift. Now, what, did, were you always musically inclined, or did you always love music, or did all of a sudden you just kind of got used to it, or what happened? Well, I was always, being around our grandparents, my, my papa was always into guitar, was trying to play the guitar and try to play the piano. Does he play? Your grandpa plays? He, 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 fools, he, he fools around. Yeah, he fools around. <laughs> <laughs> he has fun with it. Yeah, he has it as a hobby, but uh, so growing up around that, I just became interested in, in, in music, and, you know, my nana was used to, like, dancing, and, you know, mm -hmm coming from a, a Latin background. Mm -hmm. So I uh, put the music on. So then my grandparents got me a guitar for my birthday and I started taking lessons and then I started picking up singing and it all started from there. Mm -hmm. I kind of followed along because when he, when he started playing the guitar, I was like, oh, that sounds fun, you know. I want to do something like that. So then I started singing and then after a while I kind of learned how to play the drums and then came a band. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's not that simple. It takes so you, time, it takes time. Yeah, I got to, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to tell you, I tried once to play the guitar, and I think I gave up on, you know, after going <laughs> up the scale once or twice or something. I could never get the <laughs> finger over enough. So you, you play guitar and piano? Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. well, and do, do you get, ever get mixed up in are they two different ways of learning, or is it pretty much the same? Uh, it's different, you know, different techniques, different uh, ways of Wrong about it. <laughs> now you study. You actually study music. I mean, what I mean by that is, uh, you know, notes and things, or is it kind of just melodies and by ear, or uh, it's a little bit by ear, and we're also trying to help each other train and practice mm -hmm. in the yeah. reading music. Mm -hmm. And then you play the drums. Yes, and bongos. Yep. And bongos. Yep. <laughs> now is that is that like I can understand you know how I see somebody playing a piano and they got music in front of them. Yep. I can never understand like the drummer. Is that just instinct, or is there actually musical notes on the drums? Um, well, there couldn't be actually musical notes. It depends on what you're doing. But usually, um, for what we do, I usually kind of do it on my own, kind of see how what comes, what comes through and see how... A little how rhythm I gets going yep. and a little louder, a little softer. <laughs> yep. And uh, depending on whether mom and dad say, sure. <laughs> I'd say, oh, God love you. God love you. Now, I think you're both involved in your parish, too, aren't you, huh? with mm -hmm. music? Yes. And... Uh, uh, teen Life Teen Music mm -hmm. Ministry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that? We've been involved for that for about like four years now, I uh -huh. believe. Uh -huh. And it's it's great being able to play with our church and doing something that we love to do and be uh, you know be close to God. So we've been involved with that for four years, and it's, it's a lot of fun. And what is what does it mean, Life Teen? Is that is that a, a different kind of music, or is it just means that teenagers are playing music? It's actually um, the organization of a like, type of youth group. And um, so this is the live teen mask, mm -hmm. and all the teens go to this mass. And, and then the music ministry plays kind of contemporary music that you hear like on Star 99.1, and you hear like um, a lot of contemporary stuff there. 
So it would be things that you might just or, no, normally hear and whistle and sing to, and now you hear it in church and whistle and sing to. Yeah, it's more contemporary music rather than like the traditional hymns and, and uh, church songs. Now, is it contemporary Christian music or, yeah, or contemporary, contemporary Christian. religion? Yeah, I see, yeah. okay. Yeah. So it, it wouldn't be some of the other music that you might no. hear. And, <laughs> You know, the priest would be up there kind of getting, uh, getting <laughs> excited. Uh, what's the difference between uh, the music you play, you know, off, uh, off uh, Sunday Mass and music you play uh, at Life Teen? Is it pretty much the same, or do you, or do you have different rhythms and different uh, styles? Well, we do the Christian and, you know, the positive, more of the positive um, type of songs, and then we also do some secular music, but we try to keep music that we play and, and you know, good taste and, um, and positive message. Now, the, uh, with the Life Team Mass, is, it, is there a, like a program that says, okay, this particular Sunday, I mean, would the music be different, say, during Easter season as compared to Lent or whatever other time you want to pick? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to gear our songs towards the, you know, the psalm and just, uh, just what the, the Mass is about that day. Mm-hmm. Now, do you lead that? Is there more people that, uh, in this yeah, program at your people. parish than mm-hmm. yeah. How many would be in your parish teen group music group? In the music ministry, it's us two along with two other singers and the guitar player. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Who also sings. Yeah, yep. so, so you have drums at Mass? And, uh, yep. Boy, that's got to be exciting. That's got to keep them uh, awake and alive yeah. and <laughs> interested. Yeah. That's terrific, huh? Mm-hmm. Now, uh, the, uh, are you in charge of that, or who picks the music? Is that, uh, or who practices, or how do you practice? We all practice together on Wednesdays, and then we okay. get together earlier on the church, and we, you know, we set up and get ready for Sunday Mass. Yep. And the Sunday Mass would be at nighttime? Mm-hmm. It's at 5 o'clock. And it sort of invites the teenagers or young, young adults to come, or whoever happens to be. Or any so young they can sleep in that day. <laughs> so you can sleep in that yeah. day. No wonder you like it so much. God, God, <laughs> you know, that's, that's terrific. You, now tell me about uh, Real uh, Faith TV. Um, you, you, you appeared on that show and you helped produce it. Tell me a little bit about that, uh, that whole program. Well, not produce it, but I was a host, host on the show. Okay. And it's just a great experience. Like we, I was able to share you know, my feelings and it was awesome being able to talk about my faith with other teens my age. And were you both on this together? Mm-hmm. Um, well, he hosted it, and then I would um, I would guest on, and I helped uh, in back and with crew, and um, he was the host. Yeah. Mm. Now, did you do that often, Justin? Did um, you host it often, or I did it uh, last summer. Okay. It was the first time being involved with it, and we're going to do it again this summer, and we can't wait. Uh-huh. Yep. No, uh, when you host it for the summer, do you the whole summer, or just a program here and a program there, or yeah, or do you actually do the the whole? summer program, so to Not speak. Not the whole series, just a few episodes. That's mm-hmm. terrific. Yeah? And now, do you pick the topics? Uh, tell me a little bit more about uh, the, the music in it. I mean, do you say, okay, uh, this, this song talks about this, and we now have a nice conversation about it, and we play the music? or uh, For Real Faith TV? Yeah. Um, there's not really a music like section in there, but as far as the topics, I think... Uh, it's uh, stuff that teens can relate to, like okay. kind of either... Yeah, it's a bunch of different... About, about your faith? About yeah. Faith mm-hmm. and, what would, what would be an example of a couple of topics? Um, there's a bunch of different things. So many. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, it's okay to be sad is one of them. There's also, um, you know, um, your faith and, and with, through pets and how it can relate. Mm-hmm. And again, I'm going to ask you, do, do you pick the topic or does somebody come along and say, gee, you two be great at this topic and here's a thought, think about it. And uh, when other teenagers come on the show, we're going to talk about this. More the uh, the producers that pick okay, the topics. Okay, so you so you yes. have a topic and you know what you're going to talk about, and that, that's that's pretty interesting then. The um, and that and that helps them to to kind of relate to their own experiences, their own life life experiences, their own age experiences. Mm-hmm. The um, um, the so you're you're you you've hosted it. You're going to host it this year. Um, no, I'm still going to guest on it and still help out with the crew. I like doing that and meeting a whole bunch of other kids because all the other kids are involved and you get to hear their stories and how they relate to the topics that we choose every week. And what is that, a half-hour show? I believe so. mm-hmm. Something yep. like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, can you give me an experience of how some of the others might relate to it in their stories or, you know, what the, the last time you hosted it, how did you, uh, how did you get them to talk about whatever it was? Um... Well, through a lot of the topics, we always kind of, um, you know, uh-huh. a lot of people can relate to different topics and just their views and their opinions on different things. 
So is it spontaneous? I mean, you just start a conversation like we're doing, and all of a sudden people start to talk and tell you about their experiences and what they think and uh, how, how, they, how they let their faith touch it? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. That's yeah. terrific. That's terrific, huh? And your own faith, is, that, uh, uh, is, it, is it easy for youngsters to talk about their faith uh, in a public setting like that, or does it make it even easier for them to do that? I think it's uh, difficult now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just between, I think it's very difficult now. But, um, you know, I usually don't find any shame talking about it. Yeah, and uh, especially expressing it through our music, it, it seems easier. So it's because that's what we love to do. And, you know, combine those two together and mm -hmm. let our story be told. So is that what makes you really want to be a part of Real Life Faith TV, to let your experience be shown, to show that it's, it's a good, normal experience. And, yes. You know, what gives you the pleasure of doing that pro a program like that as, as 17, 15 years old? Um, well, just like I said, just being able to share our opinions and... And, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and see other kids that can relate to other things that, we're, that we go through with our faith and just to talk to them and, you know, that it's okay to talk to other people about your faith and not to be ashamed of it. Terrific. And, it, it's, and, it's an, and, to real, and you know what I think? Whether you're... 17 and 15 or whatever I am. <laughs> <laughs> I can't count that high anymore. <laughs> but you know, I, I think pretty much we're the same. Mm -hmm. You know, people are the same. I and mean, we probably have some things we love to talk about, some things we're not so sure about, some things where, you know, we experience God in many, many different ways. And, and to sometimes say, you know, I think that way too, or, or I've had that thought, or I've had that experience. Mm -hmm. Now, you're both young, which is a beautiful thing, 17, 15. What's... Uh, uh, do you see yourself doing more with television, music? I mean, what, what, are, your, what are your hopes and dreams? Hopes and dreams. Uh, There's a lot of them, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we just want to... You know, we love to write and we love to perform. So whether it's through television or whether it's through, through music, we enjoy, you know, expressing ourselves in a creative way. And we love to write, you know, positive mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. messages that people can relate to and people can... can take something and mm -hmm. apply it to themselves mm -hmm. and help, help them. Now, when you do this at home, say, you're down in the basement, mm -hmm. you know, because that's a safe place to, to make your noise <laughs> yeah. and to, to think, I guess, out loud. You know, tell me, how, how do you do that? Do you, you just start to play, or do you, do you jot down some thoughts, like, on a, like a poem lyric, so to speak, and then you start to play it? Or t give me a little example. Or do you rip it up and say, that wasn't any good, let's start over again. <laughs> Uh, it, it could be spontaneous, it could be okay, you know, it's right, you know, I'm in a kind of mood. Yeah, it's, and sometimes it can just be fun, sometimes it's like, we have to sit down, we're going to write a song, or, mm -hmm. you know, we just have fun with it and see what comes out, and if it comes out good, then that's great. <laughs> if not, there's, you know, you get ideas from the older song and you use it. Mm -hmm. And you ever, like, say, uh, hey, upstairs, come on down and listen, or give us, <laughs> an, uh, give us a... Is it good? Is it not good? How do you how do you find out? Is it just your own heart saying, "Oh, I can feel this. This is good," or sometimes yeah. does someone say, "Gee, Justin, I mean, that's really good," <laughs> yeah. or maybe both? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's also between us. You know, we like to give each other feedback, a uh -huh. healthy, mm -hmm. you know, rivalry. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's good rivalry. Yeah, yeah. You, you enjoy it. Yeah. You know, you seem like you root for each other, and you you, you yep. want each other to be successful. And, exactly. Yeah. And you go together. Yep. Now, do you ever take down, uh, do you have other brothers and sisters? No, nope. it's just okay. us. Do you ever take mom and dad down or aunts and uncles down and say, gee, uh, you know, uh, listen to this, and, and, and what do you think? Does all that, the time. You yeah. do that yeah, all, all the time, time yeah. Family. Isn't that terrific, huh? Mm -hmm. And do they ever give you some, some positive, and they say, gee, uh, you know, that, that helped me in my faith, or does that help me? I mean, do you ever write songs or something that would be, what would I say, you know, that's going to touch people in love or touch people in some sadness or touch people in other different ways? Yes, we have actually. So that's that's a that's a healthy thing too. Then it's a, it's a boy, you're doing a you're tremendous ministry. Um, do you when, do you pray before you do your music? I mean, is there is there a prayerfulness? I mean, do you ever like look at scripture? Like you mentioned the Psalms before. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at a Psalm and say, because I can look at Psalms and today I can look at that Psalm and say, gee, that makes me happy. That tomorrow I can look at that <laughs> Psalm. That's what Psalms are all about. You know, the human experiences. And mm -hmm. sometimes they seem to be full of joy. And sometimes it's like, oh my God, what a day I had. You know, like, <laughs> you start writing this down. Is that is that how it comes to, to your own hearts like that? Yeah, I mean, before, you know, before, every time we do a show, we always pray before. That's we always neat, kind huh? of, mm -hmm. Which is nice. Isn't that a, that's a beautiful, beautiful way. I understand you recently did a, a, uh, uh, your first music video, and it was screened at, the, uh, at our own Dice's Trenton Annual Reimage Film Festival. Mm -hmm. 
which is I, I didn't see it this year, but the, the year before I was, I was down there and, mm -hmm. and, and spent a little bit of time. What's the name of the song? The song title is Let Me Go. Okay. And it's dedicated to a close family friend who died? Yes. Uh, tell me, can you tell me the story? Yeah. Um, it was my best friend, Brittany, and she just suddenly, she suddenly passed away. And so from this experience, I wrote the song Let Me Go. And, you know, writing it really helped me grieve and let, let the feelings out. So the song was a tribute to her. Wow. Can you, can you give me like a little line or two of it? I mean, I just, what, what do the words Well, the song's say? about um, a griever telling, it's about an, an angel telling a griever that it's okay to let go and it's okay to move on and that to, to move on and always remember the love that was once shared, but that we will meet again one day. And this was the, uh, your, a friend, deep, deep, good friend of yours. Yes. Justin. Wow. Yes. Did you also know Brittany? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were best oh, friends, yeah. You're best friends too? Yeah, we're all, we're all best friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's lovely. I think that's a terrific gift, you know. The, um, uh, so you, and then you put that to music and, so, and it helped yourselves? Yes. How about some of your friends? Did it also help them? It certainly them? did, yeah. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of positive feedback from even people that we haven't met. Um, after the after the showing at the Reimage Film Festival, mm -hmm. and I said, you know, this really this really uh, inspired me to, to to move on from 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 certain things. Maybe we could watch that uh, uh, the the, uh, the uh, music video. Um, but um, anything else about the song before we watch it? You know, you you decided to write it because you wanted to get your own feelings out. Because as I said, I think feelings are pretty much the same. You know, and. and uh, uh, you know, did it take you a long time, short time? How, how did it come about? You know, it, the song, I kind, of, I kind of started, and it was kind of hard for me to just to finish it up, so I kind of just let it sit for a while. Oh, good. And, and then suddenly, you know, I realized, I listened to the message of the song, which is to, to, you know, let me go. And I kind of, you know, I wanted to finish the song. I wanted it to be a tribute to her. I wanted it to, to, to kind of celebrate her life and sure. take a positive song. And and try to help inspire people and, and stuff like that, you know. Now is this the, 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 the only music video you've ever done? Yes. Mm -hmm. So far? It's our first music video. Because we know we're going we're gonna to have more. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Now when you did this, did you do it, uh, like, I'm going to show you my ignorance about these things. I, I can see how you did the music. Did you do the video too, like in your cellar or your, in, the, in, the, in your home, or did you have to go someplace to do that? We went in Pennsylvania. We went to Pennsylvania and Stroudsburg and went in a village and uh, we were out in the cold and it was yeah. snowing and it was, it was really pretty, but it was cold. And um, we filmed the video there. Oh, so you did this on your own though? You just were out? No, we had someone help us and he did an awesome job and we're, oh, okay. it's phenomenal. I okay. It. Yeah. Well, let's go to the tape now and, let's, uh, and we can kind of share some more thoughts about okay. it if you don't mind. Because yeah. I'm anxious to, to see you both perform. <laughs> Please just 
just let me go Miss me but let me go I sit and cry in a darkened room I walk alone Cause there's no one left inside of me You will always live with this film inside my head Erase these lines and these ending scenes This role not I sit here crying, oh my friend Scattered memories, the touch of your embrace Your heart filled life with a smile upon your face Is this goodbye or temporarily? When my time's up, will you be? That just takes my spirit and raises it and takes my breath away. Justin and Lena, thank you. It's, I hope people have blessed you for your blessings. That is just wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you, gotta, you guys got to not stop. I mean, you do that. You know, you got to do more. But I, I guess, you know, losing a loved one like that at, at you know, 17. How, how long ago was this? 19. How, how long ago did you do this? Uh, we just actually just finished it. You just finished it. February. Yeah. February. Okay. February. So, but you know, at the Remus Film Festival. But you, you must have been very proud and pleased, you know, to be able to show that in a festival and uh, and to, to what response have you gotten back from your own friends or your your teenagers? I, I guess that's a good word to use, teenagers. <laughs> I, I just like this young adults, you know. But uh, what kind of response have you gotten back? I've gotten a lot of good response, especially people that knew her. They thought it was a great tribute to her, and and it definitely helped help them uh, try to move on and and 
it was nice, you know, they were, they were, not, it was proud, they were happy to see that, you know, her memory still lives on. Sure. And that's what I was trying to. You know what I was thinking when I was seeing that, it gets a little theology or something. You got your scripture in there. You know, it's Easter season, and uh, you, you know that the whole scene of uh, they ran to the, to the tomb, and they said that the stone was rolled back. You know, when I heard you both singing and, and the feeling that you have in there, the stone is rolled back. You know, there's no longer a separation between heaven and earth or between loved ones there and here. And that's, that's what I was feeling when, I was, uh, when you were singing that. That's it's remarkable how, and, and, I, and I say this, I bet you lots of people would say this to you. You know, you, you talented people like that have a great gift to bring out other feelings of people and to heal them. And so I, I mean, I, and, you know, laugh, 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 but sometimes I have a tear over here too. And it's, yeah. all, it's all part of the whole thing, I think, you know. And uh, how about Brittany's family? I mean, they must have been very pleased. I'm sure they saw it and were very pleased with the gift you gave them. Yes, they were. Wow. Um, during the time of your writing and all this, uh, uh, producing all of this, did you feel like God's spirit? I mean, you, you, you sing at mass, just, you, you know. Tell me, did you feel his love kind of saying, gee, thanks for doing this for me? I definitely did. It was it was very rewarding at the end just to see how you know what we did and and something something good come out of something so tragic yeah. that I think yeah. you know from hearing feedback that it, it touched a lot of people and that's what we really wanted was to to help me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just to inspire so, other people that sure, and sure. just see that you can make something good out of it. You know what I say as a, as a priest, but, uh, but even as a, as a human person, you know, and having seen a lot of things in life, uh, you know, you always got to look at the resurrections. You know, you always got to look at, you know, where's the hopes and where's the dreams and where's what else are we going to bring out of, out of something like this, you know, and someone so young and, and not, not having an answer for, for many, many things. Huh? What's your hopes for the future? You know, you're two young, great young kids. I hope you don't mind me saying that, but boy, oh boy. Thank you. you know, tell mom and dad, just give them a hug or something like that. <laughs> but, you know, just keep your work going and keep your blessings going. I know we love you, okay? The Catholic Corner, please, if you'd like to know what's, what's in store for this, to, more information, just go to their, to their music, justinandalina.com. Sounds simple. Justinandalina.com. <laughs> Bless you. Continue all the blessings and... Pray with them, for them, and all you young people. Keep it up. God Thank you. Love you. <laughs> we need you.